So I don't know if you guys are following me on social media, um, but if you want some kind of behind the scenes looks and stuff like that and to keep updated with some of the projects, uh, that's probably the best place to keep up. And if you have, uh, then you probably already know. If you don't, then you may not know that our CNC, our DIY CNC plasma table ran into a little bit of an issue. Our controller that ran everything, it took the commands from the PC and translated those for the stepper motors. Well, that board started dropping axes for some reason um, and wouldn't come back up. So eventually it got to the point where it, it didn't work at all. And at that point I was pretty defeated and pretty much ready to give up. And uh, yeah, but uh, I decided we'll, we'll give it one more go. So I st stripped the controller out. I ditched that small little security style box. Got a bigger uh, wall mountable cabinet and decided to go full hog. I went with a um, breakout board, uh, individual steppers, uh, individual power supplies, a lot of stuff. And um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll start off just showing you some of the pictures of the, the work I performed because of my state of mind at the time. Um, I didn't really film anything. I uh, just took a couple pictures. But anyway, I'll show you the pictures and we'll get back into some video and explain what's going on and we'll test the new setup and hopefully we'll get it to cut. All right, so after looking everything over, making a diagram, I went ahead and mounted, as you saw in the pictures, my 24 volt power supply, my five volt power supply. Now I've got a regular wall cord, comes out of the back of the enclosure, um, hot, neutral, ground, and then that, in parallel, another cord comes up, and powers the five volt. 20 volt supply daisy chained between all the drivers 5 volt power supply powers our actual breakout board on the relay on the breakout board we have the common and normally open and that runs over to our bulkhead connector and all of them are out here uh, plasma X, Y, Z, A, and then I'm going to add another one for B. Um, but there, there's that, and that will run out of there down to the plasma. And then we have our signal wires, which is our enable, pulse, direction, and 5 volts coming off the controller to our three drivers. And if I have this hooked up correctly, um, we have our signals, and then on the 5 volts, I just made jumpers to go to the positive side. So hopefully that's correct. And then, of course, they all come to the bulkhead connectors. 
and from the bulkhead connectors we go to the actual runs to the steppers 3d printed hats ignore the electrical tape that's just temporary until I can find the right screws and that runs into a bulkhead connector that's in the 3d printed top and the wires run into the stepper according to their color and function got all three steppers wired up so now what I need to do is I've got to put an end on the wire for the enable for the plasma torch I'm going to put a bulkhead connector on there and then hook up all the steppers I'm going to move it over and we're going to power it on just to make sure everything works the way it's supposed to and if that's good we'll run our parallel cable from our controller out the back of the box into our Linux CNC PC. Man, I hope this works. Uh, I'm going to plug the uh, 110 volts in. That should fire up both of these power supplies, which in turn should fire up everything. As long as we did it right, we should maybe see a couple LEDs, but no smoke. Fingers crossed. Alright, so we got the CNC plasma PC over here, everything hooked up, you can see a plasma table. So let's just go through the motions here, okay, for that all kick on. are good so we're just going to hit the button hopefully it moves correctly huh you know what would help As if I plug the parallel cable in between the PC and the control board. Yeah. Never said I was perfect. All right, I'm gonna cut this and put the cable in, and I'll bring you back once it's all hooked up. I gotta tweak some of the, the lead in and a little bit of the speeds. But other than that, we're back in business. Well, that's it for the actual rebuild. I got a couple little things that I need to do to get it a little closer to perfect. 
it'll never be a hundred percent perfect um, between my lack of knowledge and well that's really what it is um, it'll be very 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 close but a hundred percent perfect maybe um, we're just not there yet I'm not there yet machine capable yes Linux CNC capable yes controller yes everything's good to go I just need to learn a little bit more work with it a little bit more get more comfortable and there's some more features I need to add like an e-stop and some limit switches and then familiarize myself with Linux CNC a little bit better I also need to get the the screws that go through these 3d printed caps into the motors to hold the covers on and just a couple of little things here and there and I need to mount that big box with the monitor attached and everything somewhere up and out of the way you want that to be as far away from the actual plasma cutter as possible because of the high frequency start which can play havoc on electronics so yeah we're back in business which is awesome I to be honest with you guys once that other controller died I was pretty much ready to throw a towel in but uh, talked to a couple people talked to Jason about it uh, from code makes it go and yeah so I after those conversations I decided not to give up that's not really what this channel is about we're not about throwing in the towel just because it gets difficult so here we are plasma table back up and running we're gonna add some stuff finish a few things and then what I want to do is um, once I get comfortable I'm going to start offering the actual cut files for certain things on my website and the description has a link to the website down there and if you've noticed there will there has been these little QR codes and if you actually point your pause the video and point your smartphone to that QR code that'll take you to the Linktree account for Haslip Cycleworks and from there you can see links to the home pages um, Mayhem Metalworks links, social media accounts, everything is in there, and I can change one spot, so I haven't changed it everywhere. So that's what that's about. Um, but uh, eventually I'll offer the, the cut files, so if you have your own plasma, you can cut things out. Um, mini bike parts, uh, go kart parts, little brackets, and that sort of thing. And then I'm also thinking about offering limited runs of things once I get a little more comfortable like um, axle bearing carrier plates for go-karts I'll be able to do them in different thicknesses and in different materials so let's say you're building a, a show mini bike or go-kart or something and you want to build a stainless steel frame well I'll be able to cut out stainless steel axle bearing carrier plates say that three times fast and hopefully offer that to you guys um, in limited runs you know it's really going to depend on if I can find the material how much it is and you know I'm not going to put a big markup on anything for you guys I mean that's not what it's about but yeah um, so stay tuned for that uh, if I start really going down that path I'll do a video on that kind of announcing it to you guys uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, CNC plasma table rebuild is well, it's running. So we're back to at least where we were before. So yeah, uh, don't don't let stuff defeat you guys. Um, yeah, head up, eyes forward, keep pushing. And until next time, get up, get out there, do it.